this. Oh, I keep forgetting the name. Spoony. Spoony. Okay, right there. I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different. I usually take the breast out, but instead I'm just gonna try to do it without ripping out because I don't have any shears. You just wanna rip off all the feathers on the belly or breast. You wanna kinda pull it out. And you usually wanna get a bag for this so all the feathers don't get everywhere. And these have this kind of brownish, so you also want to get that off, which is a little bit of a pain. But that's just there. We're going to want to get all those feathers. Especially right along here. You don't want to miss any meat because there's not a lot on these birds. Anyways. So now that you have, you know, taken all the feathers off, you're gonna wanna grab a knife. But this is the only knife I have, so. And you're gonna wanna cut down the seam. Very lightly, just so you can pierce the skin. You don't want to cut into the meat. Like I just did. Don't do that. That's fine. And you're going to want to pull it out with your fingers. Remember, don't do that. That's right. And you're going to grab that skin and just rip it out. And this was in the fridge for a day, so it's a little bit tougher. Just kind of work around. And usually, what I would do is I would cut into here and there's two bones that connect the wings. Cut that off and then you're gonna wanna put your finger in there and rip it out. But I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna try something different. So I'm gonna try to go along this rib. I'm gonna try to get this meat out right here. little piece. Got to clean it off before I put it in there. Yeah. Get feathers off there. And same thing on this side. Try to get as much as you really can. You don't really want to cut the uh, any of the intestines because that smells bad. But. There's another one. So that's pretty much all I can get off this. 
You could get that, but I'm not gonna waste my time.